Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing demos and reviews of all three of the Nuda, Nuda, uh. the Huda, <laughs> Huda Nude palettes. Oh shit, I'm not redoing that, fuck it. Uh, so I've got the light, the medium and the rich palette here. I picked these up myself in store, um, so I did get to actually see them in person. But the reason I wanted these was because I thought they're gorgeous. Um, and I'm really into nude eyeshadows at the moment. Like, really into nude eyeshadows. Um, not that you can tell by what I'm wearing. But, uh, for example, I have been using the Urban Decay Naked Original, like, the Naked One palette recently and just loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, now, when I purchased these in store, I was like, well, they're not really nude, are they? Not, not truly. Uh, I thought the nude medium was probably the closest to like a, not a true nude palette, but closest to it compared to the light, which is not very nude, and the rich, which is also not very nude. But I loved the color stories of all of them. So I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to buy them. So I think we'll just get straight into the demos of these because I do give like a little overview of what I feel about the palettes after I've done each demo. And if I say any more here, I'm repeating myself yet again. And I'm pretty sure I repeated myself quite a few times in this video anyway. So sorry about that, uh, but let's get into it. In a corner, I'm going to pop the Movi Purple Matte Shade. And on the outer corner, I'm going to pop the Warm Brown. Clean brush, I'm just going to blend this guy out, soften it up. Okay, I'm going to chuck on some sparkle. So I'm going for this sort of uh, pinky, rose, goldish kind of colour. I'm going to pop that over the centre of the lid. I haven't done a look like this where I've got sort of mats all around. Um, so I don't, I don't know how this is going to stick. Oh yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. How about if we wet it? I'll apply it wet to this side first so you can see how it goes on. Whew. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. So when I've been using this little palette, I've been doing pretty simple looks, you know, like color as a transition, a matte in the outer corner, and then one of the sparkles sort of over the majority of the eyelid. So there's usually not a lot of like matte fallout over my sticky base and I find that they adhere perfectly fine in that sort of situation but I think in this situation they definitely need a little bit more help I've been taking matte shades and dusting them you know all around that area so there's going to be you know matte fallout that's sort of gotten on the eyelid and stuff so it's not going to be as tacky as it was um, before I went in with those mats and that's it's fine it's fine it doesn't bother me um, but that is something to be aware of if you are trying to create these sort of halo style eyes where you've got a lot of matte shades or you might even want to like lay down extra um, primer or concealer where you're going to put the eyeshadow whatever you want to do okay I'm going to take the pink shade the pink shimmery shade 
and um, I might get the excess off my brush because that looks like a lot little bit I'm just gonna pop it in the inner corner a little bit up onto that mauvey shade I'm using that mauvey purple shade again I'm just putting a tiny bit along my lower lash line so there is the final look using the nude light palette from Huda Beauty. Um, some quick thoughts on the palette. I, I like it. Um, I think the formula is what I have come to know and expect from Huda Beauty. There's no duds in here, which is good. I do think, like I mentioned earlier, the metallic shades, um, they do need something to grip to. They don't have amazing grip just all on their own you can also apply them with a finger which will sort of get them on a bit heavier that's not really my jam um, I prefer to just put it over something sticky or apply them wet um, I think it is important to keep in mind that if you have a similar skin coloring to me shades like this sort of um, creamy nude and this pink they are going to be very close to your actual skin tone or yeah depth of skin tone obviously you're not going to be that pink um but it makes them more difficult to see on the skin so you have to keep that in mind but their pigmentation isn't actually bad um they can be built up to get them more intense but i look at this as a really easy to wear actual like nude pinky nude palette if you don't like pink eyeshadows i really wouldn't recommend this it does pull very pink um most shades in here have some sort of pink tone to them uh even this one which looks sort of like mauvey and taupey it pulls quite pink on the eye um and then you know this guy pulls pink this one is pink. This is pink. Even the mauvey shade has some pink tones to it, especially when it's blended out. Um, and this guy here even brings out pink tones. So if you don't like pink, don't go there. I don't think this would be the one for you, but there are two others in the range that you might like. Um, anyway, I've enjoyed this one, so I'm not going to harp on anymore. Let's get into the medium one. So I'm thinking I might do something a bit monochrome with this one. Maybe like a terracotta-ish look. I don't know if it's going to turn out that way on the eye, but we'll see. shade has a really subtle duochrome it's very pretty um, but it does pull very pink on the eyes going to add a touch of gold to see if I can bring out those gold tones in the pink shimmery duochrome a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Here is the final look. So I did add some lashes because I'm feeling like it's a bit of a lash kind of day. I feel like this palette, looking at it this way, it looks a bit more bronzy. Um, and same as when you look at it here in the palette. But I actually feel like it still pulls really pink on the eye. So the shade that I used in the outer corner and the crease is this one. And it doesn't look like it should pull pinky or it's not really pink it's kind of like mauvey with pink hints and almost like really subtle terracotta hints like it just it doesn't 
it doesn't go on the eye the way that you might expect it to based on the way it looks in the palette um even swatched like it just doesn't like it looks different am i right it looks different i don't know i don't I don't know what's up with that. I didn't make it. I don't understand. Um, but look, even though this pool's very pink, I really like it. I would say I really like the light one as well, but this is probably my favorite so far. I feel like the depths of the, the shades in the palette are exactly what would be good for my skin. I can do a light look I can do a mid-toned look or I can do a dark look if I opt to use this shade and you know go a bit heavy with it so I feel like this is probably the most diverse based on my coloring again if you don't like pinks I wouldn't even touch this with a 40 foot pole because um it pulls very pink on the face and I feel like if you use um, like if we look sort of down here, if you use anything here, it's going to be pink, pink, like really pink. And then, you know, if you go up here, you do get a bit more of a bronzy look, but it's still quite pink. Um, I don't know how she managed to do it. I feel like it's almost magic, but whether you consider that good magic or bad magic, um, that is up to you but this pulls very very pink at the time of filming this I have not swatched this palette I have not used this palette on my eyes I've only touched it to pick it up um, so I'm uh, I'm hoping it doesn't pull too pink but I'm getting the vibe that it will I can feel it in my waters so let's skip ahead a week or so until I've had a chance to play with this and see what I think about it Oh my god, the day is finally here. I'm doing the rich palette. You've been watching this in succession, so for you it's happening like this. For me, it's been over a month, and I'm... Oh, <laughs> I'm struggling. Alright, I'm just using the lightest nude as my sort of transition shade. I'm popping the darkest shade on the outer corner and on the inner corner. Oh, we're gonna go dramatic. Might not be dramatic, I don't know. those two up in the center up here I will say this is a really nice alternative to black um, I'm not I'm not really a massive fan of black on the eyes because um, I have small eyes um, I find it you know it closes things off and a shade like this is going to close things off as well but it's not quite as harsh in the way that it does it. Something clean and stiff. I'm going to blend those edges. I'm taking a matte red and I'm going to pop that over the center of the eyelid. Oh my god, red and purple. I'm doing it again. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. I didn't even realize I was doing it, but I'm doing it. So that's just dusted away. I don't know why this happens with me and red and purple looks. They just like, it's like the universe is against me on this one, but that's a shame that they just, let me see if I can show you up close. It just didn't really come together. You can see how things are getting patchy. That's interesting. I haven't actually used these colors together, um, so I haven't experience that 
um, but it's pretty shit. I am going to spritz my brush because I don't think there's going to be much for this metallic to stick to. And I'm just tapping it for a little bit of pigment. I don't need it to be like intense. Went on intense anyway. In a corner, I'm just taking the metallic gold. Taking the lightest nude shade again along the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the terracotta just on the very outer corner. So there's a finished look. Mascara and some demi lashes um, is what I did and a little bit of uh, this guy. This guy on my waterline. It is the Clio uh, Waterproof Pencil Gel Liner in Firewood. It's a beautiful sort of reddy brown um, and I put this guy from Colourpop, the Wine O'Clock Mascara on my lower lashes, but you can't really see it because it was thick as hell. Mm. Anyway, let's do um, some final thoughts on this. So the formula is like the other palettes. It's fine. I like it. It's, it is what it is. Uh, the only issue I had, which you guys saw, was these guys maybe not blending together too well. I'll have a bit more of a play with them, but for now I really want to put these palettes away because I've been using them a lot. Um, I, I think the only thing I want to say to like wrap this up is, to me, they're not nude palettes. I'm one of those people I consider browns to be nude shades um so for me these are more rose palettes they should have been called rose light rose medium rose rich um and i think then it would have left her open to create nude palettes that were more brown uh but what's she gonna call brown palettes now brown brown light brown medium brown rich i don't know like I wouldn't really want to call a palette brown if it was mine, but whatever. Um, maybe caramel. There you go. You could call it caramel, maybe. Uh, and then they'd probably be fucking yellow. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I just don't... I don't consider pink shades to be nudes. I consider them to be pinks. Um, but if you are one of those people who... You find pink tones really, really complement your skin or your they make your eyes pop. Um, you're probably going to love the colour stories in these little palettes. I do enjoy them. Um, like, I don't have any regrets buying them. I just know that when I use them, it's going to pull very pink, very rosy tone. And that's fine because I don't hate them. And it's not... It's not the sort of pink that's like garish pink. We're not talking about insane bright pinks. Like they're wearable pink palettes in my opinion. Um, but they're not nude. And I was excited for nudes. Give me the browns. I love brown. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave your comments regarding these palettes. Have you picked any of them up? Have you tried them? How do you feel about them? Do you think they are a perfect, like, nude style palette for you? Or do you think they pull a bit more pink or rosy toned and they're not really like a traditional nude? Uh, let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one. Bye.